Joseph Allen Maldonado Passage, Ne Shri Vogel, born March 5, 1963, better known by his stage name Joe Exotic, is an American former zoo operator, showman, internet personality, musician, and convicted felon. The former owner and operator of the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park, aka G. W. Zoo, in Wynwood, Oklahoma, Maldonado Passage had claimed to be the most prolific breeder of tigers in the United States. 1. Before working with animals he was a police officer, briefly serving as the chief of police in Eastvale, Texas. 2. 3. He twice unsuccessfully ran for public office, first for President of the United States in 2016 as an independent, and then for Governor of Oklahoma in 2018 as a libertarian. In 2019, Maldonado Passage was convicted on 17 federal charges of animal abuse, 8 violations of the Lacey Act and 9 of the Endangered Species Act 4, and 2 counts of murder for hire, for a plot to kill Big Cat Rescue CEO Carol Baskin. 4. He is serving a 22-year sentence in federal prison. In 2020, Netflix released an 8-part documentary, Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness, focused on Maldonado Passage, his zoo, and his feud with Baskin. Maldonado Passage was born Joseph Allen Schreib Vogel in Garden City, Kansas, on March 5, 1963. Five citation needed, he grew up on a working farm in Kansas. When he was five years old, he was raped by an older boy. 1. He and his family moved to Texas where he joined the Eastvale, Texas, Police Department, soon becoming chief of the small department. He has said that after being outed to his parents as gay by one of his siblings, he attempted suicide by crashing his police cruiser into a bridge. 2. His claims about the wreck have changed over time. In 1997, he told the Dallas Morning News that someone forced the car off the bridge during a police drug investigation. Local residents that were contacted had no recollection of the event. 3. Schreibvogel worked at various jobs before opening a pet store with his brother Gerald in Arlington, Texas, in 1986. 2. In 1997. After closing the first pet store and opening a new one nearby, Schreibvogel came into conflict with Arlington officials over repeated code violations for decorations and signs, he had been hanging gay pride symbols such as a United States flag with rainbow stripes in the store windows, and he accused city inspectors of homophobia and of targeting the business because of his sexual orientation. 3. After his brother's death in a car accident in 1997, Schreibvogel sold the pet store and purchased a 16-acre, 6.5 hectares, Oklahoma farm with his parents. 2-3, two, two years after his brother's death, the farm opened as Gerald Wayne Exotic Animal Memorial Park as a dedication to his brother. 2-6, two, two of Gerald's pets were the zoo's first inhabitants. 2. In February 1999, animal welfare investigators discovered a large number of neglected emus in Red Oak, Texas, and Schreibvogel volunteered to capture the animals and take them to his animal park. However, Schreibvogel, local volunteers, and Red Oak police were quickly overwhelmed by the task of corralling the large and fast-running birds, several of which died. Schreibvogel and another man resorted to killing emus with shotguns and were accused of animal cruelty by police. However, since the emus were considered livestock, they could lawfully be killed humanely in Texas, and a grand jury declined to indict Schreibvogel. Most surviving birds ultimately wound up at Texas ranches. 3. In 2000, Schreibvogel acquired his first tigers, two abandoned tigers. 2. To feed his growing zoo of big cats, he took in horses that were donated to him. He would shoot the horses and feed them whole to the tigers, lions, and other big cats. 1. For over 20 years, he was known as Joe Exotic, the owner and operator of the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park, aka G. W. Zoo, known for its big cats. He operated an online reality television show that he streamed from his zoo. Over the years, he operated sideshows around the country where he allowed people to pet tiger cubs. He also staged shows at fairs and in shopping malls. 7. In 2006, the GW Zoo was cited multiple times by the USDA for violations of Animal Welfare Act standards. 8. In 2011, Carol Baskin, founder of Big Cat Rescue Sanctuary in Florida, organized protests against his use of cubs in his shows. To retaliate, Maldonado Passage used the Big Cat Rescue name and various identifying aspects of the sanctuary's branding in his own marketing. 
Baskin sued Maldonado Passage for trademark infringement and eventually was ruled to be entitled to a $1 million in settlement compensation from him, although she was never able to collect most of it. 7. Maldonado Passage was an aspiring country singer. Under the pretense of obtaining music for a planned reality television series, he commissioned country songs from other artists, with his creative contributions reportedly being limited to suggesting song topics and singing some backing vocals. He then produced music videos for the songs and posted them on YouTube, depicting himself as the main performer and taking full credit for the music, allegedly without having notified the actual artists. 9. In 2015, he released a video for the song Here Kitty Kitty, a diss track against Carol Baskin. In the video, he had a Baskin look-alike feeding her second husband, Don Lewis, to the Tigers. Lewis has been missing since 1997, 10, and was declared dead in 2002. 11. Maldonado Passage ran as Joseph Allen Maldonado as an independent candidate in the 2016 election for President of the United States, attained ballot access in Colorado, and received 962 votes, including recorded write-ins, nationwide. 12. He then ran as Joe Exotic in the primary election for the Libertarian Party in the 2018 election for Governor of Oklahoma. He received 664 votes in the primary, finishing last among the three Libertarian candidates. 13-14-7